In this video, we'll learn how to install a humidity probe in our garden to visualize the level of water penetration in different soil profiles. To do this, we'll use a capacitive probe in a sheath. Internally, the probe has a humidity sensor and a temperature sensor every 10 centimeters. Therefore, every 10 centimeters will have a measurement profile of water penetration. These are the materials we'll use. A capacitive probe in a sheath, a bucket, a sieve, gloves, a bottle with water, a pipe and a hammer. To begin with, we'll sink the probe into the ground between the water supply and the plant with the help of a 32 mm diameter tube. We'll repeat this process until the probe is flush with the ground. Next, we'll prepare a mixture of water and soil that we'll use to secure the probe to the soil. To do this, we'll sift the soil well and then add water and mix until the mixture has the desired consistency. Once we prepare the mixture, we'll pour it into the hole and secure the probe to the soil. The installation process in our garden has been completed, so we'll no longer need to remove the probe. The probe is equipped with a pre-programmed module that needs power and it's responsible for reading and sending our probe measurements. The temperature is measured in degrees and the humidity is read and sent as a percentage between 0 and 100%, 0 being a completely dry probe and 100% a totally wet probe. In order to know the true maximum water capacity of our garden, we'll dampen the surrounding ground thoroughly. To carry this out, we have two options, wait for heavy rains or water every 10 minutes. In either case, we have to wait 24 to 48 hours after the ground has been dampened to get the exact data. To know the maximum water capacity percentage of our soil, first, plug the Arduino modules in Sandwich for LoRa wireless transmission and second, use our app for mobile devices. By default, Plot1 is always assigned to our professional probe. Finally, remember that you'll be able to find more information about this process in the course documentation.